Welcome to the 2016 Rally America National Championship, where the best stage rally drivers compete on some of the toughest stage roads in North America. Over eight rounds of racing through the snow, mud, dust, and forest. Airing coast to coast across the United States, only one radio show is bringing you the action. This is Rally America Radio, powered by the Down and Dirty Radio Show, and we're your home for coverage of the 2016 Rally America National Championship. Game on. Welcome to Rally America Radio. I'm your host, Jim Beaver, coming at you here from Steelville, Missouri. And uh, we are kicking off the 2016 Rally in the 100-Acre Wood, round two of the 2016 Rally America National Championship. And i got to tell you, we have a stacked field of competitors coming at you today. Over 70 drivers, I believe 73 entered here at the rally. Stacked list. we got David Higgins and the Factory Subaru team back. We've got Travis Pastrana here. We've got Nick Roberts back in action. And a stacked lineup of both national and regional entries. A list of national entries that we haven't even seen before. Over half the field national entries lined up to take part in this rally, we've got 17 stages, count them, 1 through 17, 17 stages coming at you over the next two days out here in the great state of Missouri. Kicking things off today, we're here at Park Exposé in Steelville, Missouri. We're going to go into five stages earlier on today. Then we're going to take a single service and then come back with four more stages. Then on tap for tomorrow, Saturday, we kick things off. We have Park Exposé. We've got two stages, a service, and then we've got three stages, a second service, and three more stages for a grand total of 17. And we're going to have a big victory celebration in downtown Salem, Missouri. It's going to be off the hook this weekend here at the 100 Acre Wood Rally in Missouri. I am stoked to be here. And I got to tell you, things are at a fever pitch here. The rally community really ramping up. They pushed this event back one month from how it was last year. I got to tell you, things are a bit chilly here. Rumors of rain, possibly a little snow tonight. I don't know if the snow will stick, but uh, rumors of rain. But uh, course conditions, stage conditions out there are absolutely epic. All the drivers pumped on the way Recky went. And uh, we are going to catch up with a lot of these drivers and find out what it's going to take to win here at the 2016 100 Acre Wood Rally. All right, catching up here with Nick Roberts out here at uh, 100 Acre Wood Rally. Uh, you got to be pretty excited to be back in the car. Nice new livery here. I know uh, your drop's getting uh, quite a bit of pop online. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm, I'm so excited. I mean, this new livery is just absolutely incredible. And, you know, you never know. You put a lot of personal work into it, and it's kind of like music or something you know it's a personal choice and you, you throw it out online you don't know if people are going to like it or not and the benchmark i set so high with the the plaid before so i wasn't sure how this was going to be uh, taken but it's definitely been a success i think on our debut post of it, we've got over ten thousand likes or over eleven thousand likes maybe now so it's uh it's been good that being said, uh, you know, how is it to be back in the car out here at, uh, you know, Rally America? I know you've uh, done a bit in Canada, did some regional stuff late last year. Uh, you know, uh, how are things looking for this year? Good, good. You know, yeah, we had uh, just been kind of taking it easy this year. We had uh, the last two rounds up in Canada, which were fun. It was fun to go north of the border and compete against those guys. Uh, and just completely new roads, new competitors. And it was an absolute blast. And the guys up there are so incredible and welcoming. They're just an incredible family up there. But, uh, you know, I, I kind of tweaked my neck in a few accidents, and last uh, Rocky Mountain was kind of in a rollover I had. So that's kind of, Tall Pines was tough, and so we kind of took off uh, the first part of this year. And so we're excited to be back in the car for this weekend anyway. Yep. And uh, you got a different Joe Cimino in the car with you. Yeah, yes, definitely do. So uh, I've, I've sat, had the opportunity to sit with Alex once during a practice session, but uh, I'm excited to have him back in the car. And, you know, both of them, they just have so much incredible talent between the two of them. And, you know, I, I'm looking forward to spending some time with him in the car. All right, well, good luck today. We'll catch up with you later at the first service. Thanks. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, uh, moving through here, uh, Park Exposé. we got uh, Jeff Seahorn here. Uh, first time we're seeing you in Rally America this year. How's, uh, how's the car? How's everything looking for 2016? Uh, it's good. I think we're just planning on doing three rounds, uh, this one and then the two local northwest ones. And then, um, yeah, we uh, got new suspension on the car, just bigger, bigger Bilsteins. We went from the 40s up to the 50s. Um, so I haven't had a much chance to test them. Um, we didn't make it here in time for the, the test stages, and then we opted to not do this, the shakedown so we don't tear the car up. But 
Uh, first stage will be a good test, and uh, I went out and drove it a little bit before I left uh, home, and it felt really good. So uh, went with a little bit softer spring rate, so maybe get a little bit better transition in the corners and uh, hopefully get a little bit more grip out of these. Yeah, well, and looking at uh, looking at things, they've got you moved pretty uh, pretty far up the the start order. It's got to have you feeling feeling good. Maybe conditions be a little bit better up there. Yeah, I think seven is uh, seventh is a really good starting point. It'll give us enough uh, cars to get the road swept and uh, be a good uh, good attack on Lachlan. Um, I'm hoping that we can, uh, you know do our first stage nice and conservative but still not lose too much time and then kind of increase our speed throughout the day get a good feel for the car and the roads here i haven't ran here before and the, the roads looked excellent during recce um just fast and flowing stuff that i i tend to like and then the tight tight technical stuff that uh can catch you off guard too but i'd say about 80 percent of it's fast and fast and flowing then there's about 20 percent that's tight so uh should be fun the roads roads look awesome uh, that being said, what do we, you know? What, what are the plans for this year? We're going to see it uh, Oregon and Olympus, and pass that. Uh, what are what are the plans? Yeah, so I'm planning on that's about what I can budget is doing these three rounds, and then the plan is to try and sell the car. I think I have a few potential buyers, and then gear up and uh, try and find a totaled out uh, 15 or newer, so that for next for 2017 we can uh, compete for the Subaru money. Um, like a lot of the competitors are doing, our car falls out of the out of the money. I think it's 2008 and newer, and then 15 has a really good plan for super production. So, we tried this winter, but we just fell short on getting the car sold and getting a car built. So, plan is to just stay in it this year, do this rally that I haven't done before, and then just do the two local stuff that's a lot cheaper, and then um, and then plan for 2017. All right. Well, uh, good luck out there, and uh, we'll catch up later. Okay. Thank you. All right, moving down here through Park Expo Zay, we got uh, Troy Miller here, and uh, I got to tell you, man, round number two, round number one was uh, pretty darn interesting. You got about as close to uh, an overall victory as you can. Uh, you got to got to feel pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I do. That was uh, a very good result for us, and um, you know, I think with this race with Pastrana being here and Higgins, like uh, the top of the podium is going to be um, not so likely, but you know, we're, we'll be fighting for the SP win, of course. Yep. And, then, you know, how's the transition been to the SP car? I know, uh, you know, going into uh, uh, Snowdrift, you really didn't have a whole lot of seat time in that car. And, uh, you know, and how was it now with a rally under your belt? Good. I mean, I feel comfortable in the car. It feels good for me. Uh, this race will be interesting. It's going to be the first one I do on gravel with this car. And I have done absolutely no testing with it. So it'll be this first stage will be fun just kind of figuring everything out. I actually get to drive it and, and get a feel for it now, right? Not fighting the ice? Yeah, exactly. Really looking forward to it. Should be uh, should be fun, and, and uh, I think John will do a good job, and we're just going to we're gonna go out and try to win. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Troy. Thank you. All right. That being said, we got uh, Cameron Steely here, uh, you know, shooting the bull here with Troy. But, uh, you know, let's talk a little bit about your program, you know. You know, how, how are things looking for 100 Acre Wood? Uh, good. Now, uh, we had a little issue uh, during testing. Uh, the car just stalled and died on us and wouldn't restart, but we figured it out. It was a uh, blown fuse, and we took care of it, and hopefully it's just uh, some grounding wire issues, and we think we got that taken care of. Well, I know uh, last round you, you pulled out the R1, uh, you know, you know, hoping uh, that, uh, you know, less horsepower would, uh, you know, work into your favor. Obviously, we got the ST out at this one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, more horsepower. This is a perfect uh, race for it. You know, gravel, more grip, more horsepower, especially wide open, fast roads. I'm really excited to get it out there and be in a fast car again. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you've uh, you've run this event before. What's uh, what's going to take to put it on the podium? Uh, keep it clean. Uh, a lot of people like to over push here because the roads are so wide, and so they think they can go a little bit faster. And you uh, see a lot of wrecks uh, on the outside of corners. So as long as we just keep a nice, steady pace, I think we'll be good. Um, it's smooth roads, yeah. It's just don't over push the car. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Good luck. We'll catch up with you the first service. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Continue to move here through uh, Park Expose. We've got Ryan Millen here, and uh, you know, in the TRD backed car. How's uh, how's everything looking? You've been bouncing around quite a bit. Yeah, I've been having a blast. I just got back from the Mint 400 in the spec trophy truck. It was a Tacoma uh, with a Tundra 5.7 liter V8 engine in it, so it was pretty fun. Um, so it's a little, you know, getting my head back wrapped around rallying, you know, driving a lighter car and more nimble, and um, it's super fun. I'm very lucky to be able to bounce around and seat time's killer and can't complain. Yeah. So uh, that being said, you know, this one, 100 Acre Wood, I mean, this is uh, one of everybody's favorites on the schedule. Have you run this event before? No, this is my first time racing 100 Acre Wood. Um, after Recce, it looks amazing. 
Uh, and my dad very kindly reminded me that he's won this one back to back in '81 and '82. So uh, I guess I got to start trying to win some of these and trying to catch up with him. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, he have any advice for you for this one at all? Um, you know, he didn't have anything outside of the normal advice. I think it was just, you know, I, I think what I can see is it's like we we might get some rain this afternoon. You know, so I, it's so not running. I don't know. I'm kind of like I'm going to learn as I go, sort of thing. That being said, I mean you got uh, you know quite a bit of development time now here on uh, you know on on the Toyota. You know how, how's you know how's that been, and uh, you know and what are the prospects for the rest of this year? Um, you know it's been really good. This is our 2016 Rav4 SE, um, so uh, you know not a lot has changed from last year, um, and I think we're just keeping a stock vehicle and automatic transmission, and I think we're going to do a brake upgrade though, uh, the next rally, um, and we're kind of just putting gas and tires in it, sort of thing, and just running it and having a blast. Awesome. Well, good luck out there. We'll catch up soon. Thank you, sir. All right. Catching up here with Steve LaRosa, um, two-wheel drive. And, uh, you know, take us uh, – this was your first national event last year. Obviously, weather conditions a bit different than they were last year. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this year. Last year was really tough. I mean, a lot of snow, a lot of ice, a lot of offs. Um, this year, recce went well. Testing went really good the other day. And I can't wait to get back on gravel. You know, I'm over the ice and snow and uh, ready to see what this little Ford Fiesta can do out there today. Yeah. That being said, uh, you know, coming off of uh, coming off of uh, Snowdrift, you know, solid finish there. Uh, you know, obviously just finishing Snowdrift is uh, an accomplishment. Uh, you know, what's it going to take to win out here? Uh, it, I, it's going to – you're going to have to be real consistent, and you're going to have to carry a lot of speed. This is a real fast one. Uh, this and Oregon are probably the two fastest, and uh, where it does get tight, we're just going to have to carry speed through corners and make up time there. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Steve. I know you got a driver's meeting to catch, but uh, we'll see you at the first service. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. All right. Catching up here with uh, David Higgins out here at 100 Acre Wood. And uh, got to feel good to be back in the car here at a rally event. Yeah, no, it's good. It's, you know, it's been a, a longer off season what we would have um, definitely liked for and things. So um, not, not, it's not the easiest to prepare when you're sort of not 100% sure what you're doing. But obviously it's great now. Everything's all sorted. We're all here and two cars here all ready to go out and have a, have a big fight. Yeah, that's got to be got to be fun. Finally making your debut. You got Travis here, and you guys uh, have a tendency to push each other pretty hard. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's um, you know Travis is a great guy, and he's a super competitive guy. So he he absolutely hates losing, probably almost as much as as me. So it's going to be fun out there. You know, it's going to be a, a tough rally for sure. You know, these conditions here, when it's very very dry, it, it's so loose with a lot of loose gravel out there. But then when it gets wet, which the forecast can change very quickly, it can go pretty slick. So, you know, a little bit of rain would give us a little bit more grip to start with, for sure. But it's going to be um, it's going to be a tough a tough start, Clarelli, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, now Travis, uh, Travis got the same car as you, or you know, and uh, you're number two for you in this car. I mean, how, how how has it been? What did you learn last year? Yeah. No. Basically, the main thing we learned from last year and took from it is what an absolute unbelievable car this is. So. Um, the, you know, there's a few little things that are different this year. There's a new engine regulation that we have with uh, um, a, a bigger turbo restrict than we had last year, but with a smaller turbo boost limit. So we have to drive them in a slightly different way. We have to rev them more than we have before. So um, there's a few little changes like that we've had to get used to. But in, in you know, the car is the car is good. It's it's planted. It's um, you know, we're just so glad that we can get to this rally now without all the snow and, and put the car through its paces like we were hoping to do. Yep. Oh. Last year. Yeah. All with a new livery, right? Yeah, no, I'm really stoked with that. You know, to when we're from a small island like I am, and to see that um, flag make it to the actual livery is unbelievable. So, um, it's good for good for everyone showing us where we're from at home, and it's just nice to go out there and you know support support my home my home country. All right. Well, good luck out there. We'll catch up with you the first service, David. Thank you. All right, we got uh, Lachlan O'Sullivan here uh, getting ready for uh, another rally. This one, a uh, little bit different conditions than last year out here, but uh, uh, definitely got to be happy about the gravel, right? Grip. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, especially after uh, Snowdrift, uh, the last event. Man, it's so fast out there, and the roads are so good. First couple of uh, stages have a real uh, gravelly top, so the first couple of cars might uh, you know, sweep it a bit for us, uh, being fourth position P4. And uh, so we're looking forward to some uh, clean roads out there. They're super fast. Just have to be stay committed the whole time. Uh, just go out there, have a blast, and manage it from there. Yeah. Well, and it uh, looks like uh, you know a lot of SP cars out here. Stack field SP cars. Got to have you pretty excited. I love it. Yeah, bring it on. More competition, the merrier. It uh, it, it 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 begs that you can't get. Uh, 
bored with it, right? If uh, there's only two or three cars um, and one of us goes out, then the other guy is just uh, honking along and no problem. But uh, you get six, seven cars out here, and uh, it makes for uh, good merriment. For sure. So, uh, you know, we... You know, you've got to ask. I mean, what you know, what, what have been uh, any changes to the car? I know you had an amazing run at Snowdrift, and uh, you know, right up till the end, and uh, you know, got bit a bit. But uh, you know, any changes to the car between Snowdrift and now? No, we planned to, but we just didn't go through with it. Uh, a lot of things up in the air in regards to the team right now. So, uh, just some little tired bits that we wanted to big big bits uh, that we wanted to replace prior to this one because we know how much strain it is on the engine uh, on this high speed event. But, uh, no, we're just holding off a little bit. Uh, what we did do is get a new wrap. So instead of yellow and blue, we're now yellow and green uh, with Maurice uh, stepping up even bigger and harder. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking forward to uh, the livery uh, creating the, the new interest and making the car go faster. Awesome. Well, good luck out there. We'll definitely catch up with you at first service. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, we got uh, Travis Pastrana here, brand new Subaru. You got to feel uh, pretty good about this new hot rod, dude. Feeling so good about this thing. Uh, got in, and hey, it's amazing the, the downforce. I mean, never experienced anything like that on dirt. So uh, definitely feel like we got uh, got the upper hand with the, the Subarus here at the, this, this rally. But um, you know, looking forward to it, and just awesome to be back in the car. Woke up this morning with such a big smile on my face. Yeah. Well, that being said, uh, you know, 100 Acre Wood, I know you've run this event before. And, you know, how, how are the roads looking out there? Uh, roads are amazing. Uh, standard issue, 100 Acre. One day, uh, today is going to be probably the, the, maybe the driest and, and fastest we've ever seen it. Uh, real loose gravel, going to be sliding all over, really high speeds. Uh, and then uh, I suppose snow tonight. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, tomorrow could be a completely different rally. But, uh, you know, just couldn't be more excited to be in this new car and uh definitely got christian as co back as co-driver uh it's really awesome for uh, for now it's his birthday today so try to do a do a good birthday weekend <laughs> well and i know uh, you know speaking of christian a lot of people recently you know know chrissy's been in the car with you i know she's got some uh, engagements i believe at gazelle's rally so uh you know you've won some championships at christian though so it's not like you guys are new to each other no definitely not it didn't take him any time to get uh, get back up to speed so no i miss chrissy for sure uh, she's uh, you know, awesome, awesome girl, but uh, definitely good to be back with uh, Christian for, uh, for now. So we'll see, uh, see what happens in the future. But right now, man, it just it feels like home. It's awesome. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Travis. Good luck. We'll catch up with you the first service. All right. Thank you. All right, wrapping up things here from Park Exposé here to kick off the 2016 Hundred Acre Wood Rally. I'm your host Jim Beaver with Rally America Radio. We just heard it from a lot of the drivers. Missed some of them. We're going to have to catch up with even more of them here at the first service coming up. But I got to tell you, man. People are packed. Anybody that says stage rally isn't fan friendly, I got to tell you, they are dead wrong. Massive, and I mean massive amounts of people here at Park Expose. And uh, drivers, first drivers just heading out to hit the stages. We've got Higgins, we got Pastrana, Nick Roberts, Lachlan O'Sullivan. They are all off the line. They are out heading to the stages, going to do battle. And, uh, man, it is going to be great. Definitely stay tuned to Rally America Radio. We're going to have full coverage of the rally coming at you. And i got to tell you, this is shaping up to be one of the best rallies in recent memory. This is going to be a great one, round two of the 2016 Rally America National Championship.